guys, how you doing? Welcome back to episode 18 of Only by the Regents with Liverpool. So we're ready to start the third season as manager with Only by and Regents really. So we've done well so far. We finished second in the last two seasons in the Premier League. I think we've finished in the quarters of the Champions League last year. I'm not expecting anything to improve for another couple of seasons because our defence is pretty weak to be honest. Uh, let's get rid of... Enrique, who went out on a free, he was unhappy, he wasn't going to continue his deal, so I had to let him go. We did extend Gerard uh, contract just for the experience wise. Glenn Johnson's deteriorated, he's unhappy. Lucas is unhappy. A few players are unhappy, Ibis, but he's a good backup player. Um, we've decided to keep Origi and Balotelli. Uh, I just I think we do need those two class. Strikers, Arie play on both wings as well, so he's good backup if we have a bit of an injury crisis. Flanagan, uh, I'm going to use him as backup to Moreno as well as being my first choice right back this season. Uh, he's better than Wisdom. Wisdom can play on the right back as well, so can Glenn Johnson, so it's no problem there. I will show you a few of the ins, uh, mainly regions. There has been, I think, one major out, which is uh, Suzo, which managed to get 30 million for. Now is Potential dipped, his potential ability dipped, uh, he wasn't going to reach it at all, his, his current ability was I think two and a half stars, potential was three star, uh, so it's not. To get 30 million for him is pretty insane, now it wasn't all in a lump sum, It was I think it was three million up front and 27 million over the tw 12 months, which is not too bad at all for Suzo, and he's only back up there, which is unbelievable. But he's a good little player Suzo, and it's sad to see him go, but we... To get 30 million for him is incredible. Now, I will go through the regens real quick. We got Mert Kerskin from Mainz, a uh, nice little player, uh, attacking midfielder. Can play that against role with the vision. Just needs to improve his mentals a little bit. And he will be beast at that role. He needs a four and a half star at the moment. Hopefully, that can improve to a five star. But Ilez uh, Bernard from Montpellier. Uh, he's a defensive midfielder. We don't play uh, a CDM in our formation, so I'm going to switch him to a centre back. He's only five foot eight. So hopefully he can turn into like a little Mascherano. Uh, he needs to improve his strength, his jump and reach and all that jazz. But his potential ability is good. Uh, and, uh, next guy is UA Arejo from Mainz again. We've nicked a few of their players. We have got a lot of strikers coming in. And this is mainly because it's easy to find good striker striking regions really. Uh, than not anyone else. So this guy's okay. Uh, he's got good pace, his finishing and composure is pretty shit for a striker. We can't put him down to a cam because his passion and his vision is shit. But most of these strikers that have got good potential, but we're probably not good enough in the long term for our squad. Uh, we're just going to loan them out, get the value up, and then sell them on for big profit, I guess. Next guy is another striker, Diop. Uh, again, there's no way this guy's going to play cam either because he's got passing at three, vision at three. Uh, I think he got a pretty bad injury as well. We signed him in our first season, uh, so it's been two years since we've actually agreed a deal. Uh, his, his technicals haven't improved really, his mentals have been pretty shit. His physicals aren't that good either, so he, he's got good potential, but you know he's not he's not the best. Let's just say that. Uh, starting to get onto the good ones now. Trevor Turnbull, I think I showed you in the last episode a brief look at him, but he looks absolutely insane. 15, he's got fantastic physicals, he's a perfect, perfect, um, what's the word, personality, look, he's a perfectionist. Could be the next Jeff Hurst, not too shabby. He's got 16 finishing, 17 heading, 17 passing, teamwork's 18, and work rate 15, and he's just an absolute tank. Hopefully he could be uh, one of our, our next storage Probably a different player because he's not as quick, but he, obviously he definitely has the potential to get 20, 30 goals a season in the Premier League, I believe. But yeah, he's, he looks really, really good. And uh, next guy is Armando Pellizzi from Pescara in Italy. And again, he's, he's another striker, would you believe it? And he looks okay. He's got good heading, good finishing, good composure, a decent pace for a 16-year-old. So we'll see how, how he develops. Uh, his potential ability is not the best, but four stars still decent. Uh, the next guy is Nicolo Valeriani. Jesus Christ, Valeriani from Atlanta. There we go. Uh, he's a centre mid, good passing. Uh, vision needs to be improved. 
But again, he, he looks okay, doesn't he? And again, four-star potential. Uh, this guy from Dynamo Bucharest, he's a bit of a bit of a tank again. Uh, look at his pace. It's 17 pace, 17 acceleration, good determination. Composure needs to be worked on. Uh, he's got good finishing. Head and probably needs to be a bear, but he's only 5.9. But we actually signed him and then loaned him out to Calgary. And Calgary are obviously in the Syria, so he's gonna get he's gonna get first team football in the Syria in his first well being 17. So that's gonna help him massively, especially if he plays really well really well there. Uh, the next guy is Filippo Baldazar. Bal Baldassar, I, I don't even know what that name is, but he's a centre back and a uh, bit slow, but his heading's okay, his tackling's okay, his marking does need to be improved, so a few of these are on nine, so they will reach the tens and look a bit better, but he's definitely got the potential there. And then to the absolute gem, Sasha Ball, this German guy is unreal, seriously. He's a target man, his best position, we're going to try and change that into a complete forward. But it's 16. He's already valued at 3.6 million. He's got 17 finishing, 16 heading, 18 determination, good physicals, uh, good off the ball, good work rate, good technique. He's just unbelievable. It really is. Look at that. Four and a half star potential ability. He's already a leading star for the championship sides at 16. We signed him for 700k. <laughs> what a gem. Like four goals in four go uh, games in the under 21. Germany team at 16, just incredible. So I, I'm debating. I think 16's too young, maybe to give him a bit of game time. I may, I may consider it at some point in the cups this season because he just looks absolutely amazing. But there are the ins and out guys. A few free transfers letting go there, and a few loans. But apart from that, it's fine. The squad's there, ready to kick on to the start of the season. The team report, if you ever want to see this, I can't remember if I showed you this. Uh, so the most used formation is this now, uh, most successful is that, and yeah, I think we've changed the tactic a little bit. Uh, we've gone for the complete forward over the false nine or Trekatista or whatever played in the last episode, and we took off play wider, so we're just going to see how this works. We do have Swansea to play in this game, there has been a game this season already where Manu lost to spares. Manu actually have a new manager, they have Ronald Koeman, uh, Van Gaal has been sacked. At the end of the season, they surprisingly, they finished. I think they finished ninth, didn't they? Uh, how do I get to it? Competitions. Uh, let's just go into the Premier League table and check ourselves. So they finished ninth, and they managed to keep all the best players somehow. Just somehow managed to. And um, they brought in uh, Pjanic as well, who's not a bad player by any stretch, and and Bradley there from Toronto. So they got a good team, they did start off the season with a loss, they're all rock bottom, which is quite hilarious. We are predicted to finish second this year. I'm hoping top four because our defence is quite worrying, but we're going to go into the game. We're going to play fine again, he needs to get stop being unhappy, he's been a bit of a noob. Uh, but we're going to go with that team. Hopefully Coutinho can stay fit this season. Uh, we've got Alluri on the bench, yeah, and you can just see there. There we go, so let's go into the team, let's go into the... Uh, the team screens. So uh, continue. Henderson set to make his 175th league appearance for the club today. Absolutely delighted. And there's John Joe Shelby. Defence. Uh, let's just get rid of this for now. <laughs> and let's yeah expect the win. Absolutely spot on. First first game of the season. We really need to start off with a win. Not much has happened though to begin with. Let's just put the uh, replays on goals. Good tackle by Sacco. Sturridge, can he? Ah, oh, Sturridge, bad, bad first touch really. They've got Bakali. He must be. I think he went to Chelsea on the save, so he's uh, got Charlie Austin as well. They've got a good team, Swansea. Oh, and Charlie Austin makes it one nil, and we have not turned up here. It's 15 minutes in. Suspicions of offside, I highly doubt that. But, yeah, not having a shot in 15 minutes, this is not a good start, is it? Now we got to wait for the 3D highlight. Here we go. Whips it in. And it was a good volley by Charlie Austin. We 
we start finally started to get some shots on the board. Henderson, there we go, plays it back to Mingle. Now I took off play wider because I kind of wanted to see what would happen. I've got Markovic. Sturridge, there we go, and it's now 1 1. So Swansea scored the first shot, as they usually do on FM, I've found every year. <laughs> It's frustrating, but it's a great finish by Sturridge, and he gets his first goal of the season. Now Swansea on the attack. Charlie Austin, great save, Mingle, to stop that being. Now the corners, I don't know what to do with it. I put zonal now. I've changed it again to zonal. Uh, and it's just trying, you know, um, stop them near post goals. It was, was disappointing. We are going to go on tactics, opposition, and then take his advice this time. Now it's been half time. We've got Henderson. Come on, Coutinho. We need to get playing. Markovic on a good one. Moreno. Sterling. Coutinho. Sturridge. Coutinho. Oh my god, I think Sturridge actually blocked his first shot. And uh, we make it 2 1, which is great. We've really uh, started playing now. Sterling plays it to, yeah it was Sturridge that blocked it, he just couldn't get the ball out of his feet but it landed up to Coutinho, I don't really know what that keeper was doing, Fabianski, who knows, we've got another chance here, can we make it free, kill a game off, Art oh, bad ball, Skirtle, don't do that slow thing, picks the ball up to Moreno, Henderson, Sterling again, Coutinho, Henderson, good football, I just couldn't find Moreno, Sacco, Skirtle, come on, Chan, Henderson, Coutinho, have a, have a dig, Flanagan, Markovic, Coutinho, oh that's great football, that is what we want to see, lovely stuff, nice uh, nice bit of passing play there, Coutinho gets his second, Fabianski, he's just awful isn't he, a uh, few centre backs getting complacent, this corner technique is really nice of set up, uh, it usually works, Henderson, can we get a goal from it? Storage, we do as well. What happens is, um, so we've got someone lurking outside the area. Basically, we have Coutinho who chips it to him, and he could either lay off to someone else or have a shot himself, and it usually ends up in a goal. It's pretty nice. Sterling has another the best of games. Um, we are going to win it 4 1, which is lovely stuff. We're going to take off Skirtle because we don't want him to get sent off randomly. Uh, we're going to bring on Lovren. Uh, and everyone else seems pretty good. We're going to give him a little bit of a team talk because he hasn't played in a while. There we go. And we are going to go into tactic opposition. We don't want any late comebacks whatsoever. But Swansea have had their chances. They've had four, they've had a clear-cut chance and they've had four half chances. So, you know, it's it's not the domination I, I wanted, but it's, it's still early in the season. Uh, let's bring on a few players. So let's bring off... Bring on Origi for Sterling, uh, and Emery Chan can come off for... Emery Chan did a beast game for Joe Allen. Joe Allen's in his last year of his deal. I do want to continue his deal, so I do need to start playing him a bit more, so, we get, so he's actually happy. Uh, but I think this one's going to end 4-1, and, you know, all in all, pretty good game against Swansea. They had a, they had a relatively decent side, and I will take that all day. And we go top. Would you believe that? I've got another regen joining there. I may actually see what... I don't know if he's good or not. Uh, couldn't care. Look at Scales, 250th game as well. Absolutely fantastic. Right, there we go. Let's see if this regen's any good when he joins. Uh, we have to sim the Arsenal game. So the Arsenal lost, so we got, so where does this leave the table? So we're currently top, but just off goal difference, we've got the one extra goal. Uh, Fulham, Tottenham, Newcastle, Arsenal, Man U, Chelsea ha are yet to play, I'm guessing they'll play tomorrow. But let's see what this regen's like when he joins. Hopefully he's good, otherwise it'd be a bit pointless. Right, should come up now. There we go, sign Gu Guyot. Guyot. Uh, he's okay. Um, he's got that five star ability, but his passing is pretty awful. So he, he needs to improve a lot. 
so his his natural uh, uh so he's got decent mentals. It's just ba mainly the passing, isn't it? Which is the most important part. Let's just stick him on the enganch for now. And uh, we'll put him in the under 18 squads. So this is what it looks like now for the our sister reports, for the potential wise. So obviously you got that Sasha Ball, who's absolutely who's a tank. And then you've got a lot of a lot of four four star four and a half star and five star players. Uh long term we're gonna try and get this guy to replace Mingle because he looks incredible. <coughs> I may even start giving him some games this season. Uh, we've got a few players that we can give games. I mainly like to give games to players. Uh, I think I've said it before. Anyway, it's, it, when they start turning late seven, well, when they start turning seventeen to get into the point where they're going to start turning eighteen, that's when I start to introduce. We definitely need to start introducing this guy, Charlie Buber. He's actually uh, natural as the uh, defensive left position now, which is fantastic, and he looks really, really good. Constant performer, great. Absolutely great. So we're going to be back, guys, for the Champions League game in October. I hope you enjoy, guys. And I will. If you want this tactic, by the way, uh, I did upload it to Steam, but I've made a few changes, a few tinkering things. But I'll leave it in the description of the uh, of the Steam thing. If you if it doesn't really work for you, what 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 happens when you download it? Then just change it to what I say in the description and see what happens for it there. But I hope you uh, enjoyed it, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.